I want some Sichuan food. I've been missing something spicy and like ricey and saucy. Hopefully this satisfies my craving. Si wei mao cai. Ooh, that looks good. <gasps> Sun Tang Feng Yo is one of my favorite things ever. Whoa, so cheap. Three Singapore dollars each. It's like two bucks for these things. This looks pretty authentic. Si wei beef. That looks all right. Stir fry lamb bread. That looks good. Addy beef with uh, sauerkraut and chili is one of my favorite dishes ever. I like food. Especially when things are fatty. This is like, this meat is just, will melt in your mouth. Second dish, pork belly with tender beef with uh, some sprouts and enoki mushrooms and tofu. And they put it all into this like super spicy, yummy, sour sauce. I'm feeling some butterflies. Wow. Oh. Bamboo shoots inside the meat too. Oh, it's so good. I don't even know what to do. Oh, that sour and nummy soupy dish with the sprouts and the tender beef. That's blowing my mind. It's one of the greatest Sichuan things I've had in a while. Spicy, nummy, crunchy, super meaty. This tastes like home to me. Oh my god, that chili dish with different types of chilies. Lantern chilies, crushed lantern chilies. This dish looks like Chinese New Year. It looks like it. I don't even know what to do in the presence of all this lovely stuff. I feel like a judge in the uh, Miss Food Universe pageant. Everyone looks so lovely. Oh man. Oh yeah. Mm. Sauce is ticking. Nummy and spicy. And I love how like the peppercorn they're connected together so they don't miscellaneously attack you in your mouth. Mm. Such awesome spice flavor. I really love this place. I love it. I love it. I'm gonna be back like every single day. Oh my god, I'm back at the place I got my panda chopsticks. This might even be more adorable. I'm getting this. We're doing another giveaway. I'm gonna give this away. You know the drill. Follow me on Instagram. I'm gonna announce it on Instagram how this is gonna work. Look how cute. Uh, look at this little tea set. I'm giving this away too. Follow me on Instagram. I'm giving this away. I have to check on something. I've heard rumor of a drink that is now in Singapore 7 Eleven. Where is it? Alright, the drink hasn't come to the 7 Eleven. We will keep searching. My favorite tea shop. Tea relaxing time. See you in a bit. What Seattle won't give me, Singapore does. This is actually not a bad day here in Singapore. Not too humid. Temperature is about right. It's actually, dare I say it, comfortable. Don't need the AC. I'm going for noodles. There's a place here called Chef Khan Noodles. And they have chashu and noodles. So this is breakfast for me. It's like almost 1 p.m. Only three things you can get. Noodles with chashu wonton, noodle with shredded abalone chashu and wonton, or just simple chashu. I've been hearing about this place for a while. So these guys supposedly cook up a mean bowl of noodles. Oh, there's no wontons in mine. I kind of wanted wontons too. Cha Cha looks good. Noodles look awesome. Oh wait, here's the wontons. I'm so blind in the morning too. Broth definitely needs a little color. Whoa, porky and creamy. Ah, that is flavorful. Egg noodles. These look like like bamboo, but I'm assuming these are this is the abalone. Mmm, that does not taste like rubber band. And in the abalone world, that's already a pretty big compliment. Oh wow. 
their role supports on a whole different level. I mean, melt in your mouth. Oh, that is some tender roast pork. This definitely needs a little vinegar and some spice. It's really deep soy sauce based sauce. Nice combo of pork and seafood with the abalone added in. Mm. A little sweet as well. Mmm. Oh, wonton's excellent. Thin skin, nice chunks of pork. It's a little sweeter than I would like, but otherwise, flavor is deep, it's rich. Noodles are cooked perfectly. I would recommend it. I think next time, I'll just get the uh, regular wonton chow chow noodles without the abalone. I think six extra dollars. I mean, abalone was good, but didn't add too much, I guess, to the dish. But overall, noodles are solid, wonton solid, chow chow is like just godly great place. Now I'm debating what else to eat before. I feel like I want more chashu. Let's go get more chashu. Breakfast number two. Ha! <laughs> Fujian. Don't, don't say the English name of this restaurant too fast. So I ended up getting the roast pork, roast pig, and a quarter of the duck because they said in their menu their duck is like slowly seasoned, marinated for like 18 hours and then roasted. They sold me on that. We'll see how good it is. That pig is insane. I don't think I've ever had roast pig skin that crunchy. Sometimes when you get the roast pig, the skin is crispy, but it's also hard. This thing is like, the perfect pork crackling. It's crunchy, but then it's also gentle and airy. It's one of the most perfect roast pigs I might ever put in my mouth. Unbelievably good. Wow. It's perfect blend of spices. Wow, I'm just, I'm in shock right now how good that is. These two pig dishes taste like pork heaven on earth. The chow shu is perfect blend of fat and lean meat, like with a fat sandwich between the lean with just the most perfectly charred exterior. Melting your mouth. Best chow shu I've had outside of China, without a doubt, right here in Singapore. Unbelievably good. Best char siu and best roast pig. Oh my god. I just had a crunchy piece. You wouldn't believe how smoky my mouth feels right now. I'm surprised as I'm chewing, smoke and fire is just not billowing out of my mouth. And if you love Chinese barbecue, I think you gotta put this place on your must try list. Now let's try their famous duck. Melty skin, really juicy. It's not all that flavorful, I feel. Let me try another piece. Yeah. Not all that flavorful. Didn't really penetrate to the meat of the order. Like the meat by the bones, it's kind of tasteless. When you're eating this next to the pork meats, it's like a little league football team playing against the Patriots. It doesn't compare. I mean, it's tender, but I would not say this is a must get. 100% get the roast pork and get the char siu. That's a must. Like, if you're in Singapore, come here and get this. Wow. Blown away by this. Merry Christmas to me. Oh, this is so cool. White Rabbit. Those of you who don't know, 
big white rabbit, 大白兔 is something all Chinese kids grew up with. Ever since we were little, we were being fed this. This felt like for at some point, like the only candy, or at least the only candy that mattered in China. I would always have these in my pockets, and whenever there's like New Year's or birthdays or any holiday where you go to your aunt's and uncle's house or grandma's house, there's always Big Rabbit, and it's a milk candy. And now it's a drink you can get at 7-Eleven. Look at that. It tastes like my childhood. Sweet, smooth, creamy, and a little nauseating. Just like when you have too much of this candy, you know that thing is coming back up. But this is a pretty good adaptation. They did lower the sugar level. Thank goodness, because just drinking pure liquid white rabbit milk in the part of the world where 99% of us are lactose intolerant, not a good thing. All in all, pretty fun Christmas Eve lunch. I really don't have much going on on this on this trip, so I told you guys one of my favorite things to do ever is just to sit around, watch TV. I don't know, just don't do anything. And now I got a beautiful view, beautiful view out of my window. I got a comfy hotel room. I'm gonna just chill a little bit, and then tonight find a cool place for dinner. Really, a simple life. I can't tell you how good it feels to actually. Take a little vacation, vacation, and not have to think about filming or just, you know, just this us hanging out. You, you guys like this intimacy? I like it. Maybe I'll even take a nap. See you in a bit. This is getting really, really hard. I just want like a bubble tea ice cream. Why can't I just get one? Oh, I figured this would be like more convenient than going to a store or something. It is not. Ah. This is really, really hard. Oh, come on. What? Oh! Why? Why? Why must this be like this? Why? Woohoo! Yes! This is about 10 minutes and finally got the uh, black sugar, brown sugar, bubble tea ice cream. The brown sugar milk tea is like the most popular drink right now in the bubble world. And I saw this. Ice cream with boba and brown sugar. Verdict, this is pretty delicious. Mm. This is way better than the drink. Way better. The bobas are actually nice and soft. They don't taste like frozen bobas. Mm. Really nice caramelized flavor. So apparently you can't really buy these at typical 7-Elevens or something. So I guess that's why the vending machine is here. It took me a while, but hey. It's Christmas Eve. What else do I gotta do? All right, just what I wanted. Super chilled Christmas Eve. Back in the hotel. Gonna play some video games, watch some Billions, which is available in this country, by the way. And use some room service. That's a pretty jolly Christmas to me. All right. See you in the morning. Again, not a bad morning. Pretty comfortable for Singapore. All right, Christmas plans. This is gonna be huge. We go use some pork noodles, find a cafe to do some work. Exciting, riveting stuff. Lucky for me, most food places are still open in Singapore. And I'm here for McPherson minced meat noodle. 
This is Kampong chicken. I had this in, in uh, Malaysia. Oh, this is so good. That gentleman is a hero. I walked in, he's like, hey, how you doing? I'm like, hey, good. I thought he, he maybe knew me or something. And then he said the two words that I appreciate more than anything at any point of my life. I so appreciated it. He said to me, in all his wisdom, wear zippers. My zipper's open. Not all heroes wear capes, but they do point out when you have open zippers. All right, we're gonna get the minced meat noodle with extra noodle for sure. Most kids wake up to Christmas morning to a tree full of uh, presents and whatever else Santa's brought. Oh yeah, for me. Oh, can't ask for anything better than this. Noodles with minced pork, a little fish cake, little pieces of pork and innards. So much good stuff in this bowl of noodles. Can't ask for a better Christmas than these noodles in your mouth. Oh, I got a chili stuck in my throat too. And I got extra noodles just to make sure I got enough for myself this morning. Just a great combo of soy and vinegar and chilies. Mm. The sauce tastes like umami silk outside of these noodles. Perfectly chewy, mouth feels incredible. They're the kind of noodles you just want to keep stuffing in your face and hope it never runs out. A little fish cakes changes up the texture a bit. Oh, that's really nice fish cakes. Absolutely fantastic. Mm. Got a piece of the liver. Again, a little difference in texture, a little difference in flavor. There are a lot of pork noodles here in Singapore. Some are even given a Michelin star. Do not waste your time on places like those. The place I went last time, I forgot the name, and then this place. Come here and get these. These are like $5 for a massive bowl of noodles and a deliciously porky soup. Do what I did. Get the extra noodles for $1. You will thank me. And this will satisfy any appetite. I feel like there's so much flavor in here. You need the extra noodle to compensate and to help you eat all the little bits of meat and sauce. Anywhere you go in this place, there's always a neighborhood stall where an auntie or uncle has been doing this for like 20, 30 years. And they're just masters at whatever they're cooking. There's the only country where you, you go somewhere and they're, they're not trying to cook up like 50 dishes. They make one thing really, really well. So if you're ever here, skip out on the morning hotel breakfast, go onto the streets, wherever you are, I promise you, it could be something really good. I gotta go get some work done. YouTube man waits for nobody. This is like a mall where apparently a bunch of cafes exist uh, with plugs and good Wi-Fi. So that's why I'm here. Whoa, these vending machines are serving like fully prepped meals like like gourmet meals chef in a box look at this menu of the day really cheap Let's see if this is any good grilled salmon spaghetti clay pot chicken rice teriyaki butter chicken oh that's it so there's like about 12 12 meals there i think it's the same here probably oh a little difference Lobster cream spaghetti with codfish. Spicy seafood with rice. Against my better judgment, I'm gonna buy seafood from a vending machine. Spicy seafood with rice. Hot or frozen, let's get it hot. 
I'm guessing there's like a giant microwave in here heating up my meal right now. Oh, I hear stuff. I think it's coming out. Ooh. All right. This little thing just pushed it out. Ooh, it's hot. Whew. Look at this spicy seafood. This is a Korean dish. Uh, so it's basically, it is a, just a microwave inside inside that machine. It's not a chef hiding in there. Okay, so this is the picture. Look at this thing. It looks like like this dish was stunned by like a hundred bees or something. Like where is the shrimp? I don't even see a shrimp. Where the greens is this before, after, expectation. Reality. I mean, this is so bad. I, I, I hear every fast food restaurant in the world breathing out a sigh of relief that something this miserable exists somewhere in the world. This is just horrendous. It seems to be bigger and plumper. What is this red clump? Oh, oh, imitation crab. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, oh look, I found clams. I'm pretty sure if I die from any food on this trip, it might be from this one. There's a lot of clams though. I've never felt so afraid in my life to put food in my mouth. And I've been to a lot of shady places. Alright, granted the flavor is not as bad as how it looks. That actually tastes okay. I mean, by that I mean it tastes as good as a microwave seafood meal can taste. Oh, my shrimp tastes like a paperweight though. Probably the best part about this is the sauce. It's small in Singapore, it's so high tech. Dude's whizzing around and little scooter. Rice is okay. That imitation crab thing turned out to be the best meat in this dish. I mean, it wasn't expensive, so I guess that counts for something. Mm. Advertising about this is is fresh ingredients. I don't think so. Good meals. That's a stretch. Prepared by chefs. I mean, the flavoring is good. I, I would be kind of upset if I was one of these chefs and saw my creation turn into this. It's cheap and it's kind of fun. So that's the stuff going for it. I think eating microwave clams is never like a really good idea. It's Singapore. I trust you. This is how I spend my Christmas. It'll probably be how I spend my New Year's. So there you go. May not be the most exciting thing for you, but I like it. And by the time you guys see this, it won't be Christmas anymore. So I want to wish you a belated Merry Christmas. Happy holidays for those of you who don't celebrate Christmas. Happy New Year. Looking forward to a lot of food videos, a lot of travel adventures we're going to partake on together in 2020. And um, thanks for sticking with me all these years. Here's to you. Happy holidays.